actor Ed Begley Jr. He's been entertaining audiences for decades since he landed his breakout role in St. Elsewhere in 1982 before appearing in hundreds of TV shows and movies like Best in Show. And more recently, he played the befuddled professor trying to school young Sheldon in the popular <laughs> CBS series. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We don't believe you need open strings anymore. That's an older model of thinking. <laughs> now, yeah, Sheldon. Just because something is older doesn't mean that it's not still good. Original Star Trek is older than Next Generation, but if you think that Mr. Data is better than Mr. Spock, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> He's got a fantastic new memoir. It is called To the Temple of Tranquility and Step on It. He gives readers an inside look at his life and career in Hollywood, and Ed Begley Jr. joins us now first on CBS Mornings. Yay. Thank you for being here. Tony, thank you for having me, yes. all of you. And yes. thank you for watching. I, I hear you You actually tune into the show yes. before you appear every on morning. it. That's very we love good. It. Michelle, my wife, and I watch it every morning. How do about we, that? Do we help you get to the temple of, <laughs> of tranquility? <laughs> Quickly, yeah. that's what you want to do. You want to get there quickly, <laughs> right, so you can be serene. Isn't that what we're going for? Yes. <laughs> you wanted serenity, but you wanted it fast. You're yeah, right. And I tried yeah. to find it in all the wrong places. In a bottle of Stoli, let's say, mm -hmm. you can get some serenity that way, but I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't last long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from, that rush? It came from an addictive personality. They say that it's genetic, too, and my parents certainly had it, and many relatives have had it. I am from Ireland, so they say something about that, too. I mean, not from, I, my grandfather came over in a boat from Ireland, so it's certainly in the blood. Mm -hmm. But I had the behavior, and I acted in a crazy manner from 71 through 78. I drank a quart of vodka every day, and I operated a vehicle. Would not recommend that. Oh, wow, no. No, I mean, you've had quite a, quite a story. I mean, I'll just give people a couple of highlights, because you've got to read the book to get it. At one point in your life, you smoked a joint with Charles Manson. You've been on a road trip with your wife, the lovely Rochelle, your ex-wife, and your daughter, and you all shared the same room. You were once beaten up and stabbed. Clearly, you survived. Jeff Goldblum was held up at gunpoint on your front lawn. So you've had some wild and crazy days. But one of the most poignant stories, I thought, was about Billy Boyle, who's your sober coach. Because you talk very candidly about your drinking. Can you, you know, many you people were very supportive of me when I decided to get sober in the late 70s. But some were not, and they're of great value as well. The people that were kind of over me and said things that seemed kind of harsh. When I came in and out of some recovery meetings, let's call them, over the years, I had finally come in and out the fourth or fifth time. This guy, Billy Boyle, was smoking a cigarette out in the foyer and said, oh, you're in here for what, the fourth time, Slim? You're never going to get sober. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I went, what a thing to say. Why would you say that? He says, because I've heard about you. Don't you have some show over at Universal? I said, yeah, I'm in Battlestar Galactica. Aren't you married to some woman named Gretchen? Yeah, it's Ingrid, but yeah, I'm married. <laughs> got a couple of kids, and you got a little, nice little house in Hancock Park. And he's, I said, yeah. He said, oh, you're screwed. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I said, what do you mean by that? Because you haven't lost everything. When you no. lose everything, mm. yeah. let me know. And he but, said, no. next time you feel like taking a drink, what did he tell you to do? He said, you call me before you drink, yes. or I'm going to come there and kick your ass. Yeah. And he told you exactly what you and needed to hear. Yes. Exactly. And then I did. I was about to get on the plane to work on the movie The In-Laws, and they rolled that cage up there at the bar at uh, LAX, you know, 8 in the morning or something, and I ordered a Bloody Mary. And I was about to put it to my lips. I went, Billy Boyle, damn it, damn it. They didn't have cell phones then, so I called so him it, up. It made a difference. I said, Billy, I'm about to drink. And he said, no, you're going to be fine. Call me when you get to Cuernavaca. Wow. I said, but I just said I'm going to drink. He said, you're not going to drink. I said, I got a first class ticket to that. I'm going to get free drinks. I got a drink in the plane, not just here. He said, You're not going to drink. I said, Why am I not going to drink? And he said, Because you called me. You called mm. me. Isn't that good? Uh, I love that. I, I'd love never that. heard about that before. Also, this book you reveal for the first time about Parkinson's. I mean, you write in the book, uh, the chapter's called Jerry Lee Lewis, whole lot of shaking going on. And you realized you had Parkinson's. First, you were in a plane and you thought something had happened with the plane, but 2016, you were officially diagnosed with Parkinson's. Yeah, there's you're no, letting you're letting us in about that for the first time. Yeah, there's no great time to get it, I'm sure, but there's a better time to get it, and that's now because you can have Parkinson's as, I, as I've had since 2004, diagnosed with it since 2016, and it's like this. That's what Parkinson's can be like today it's with the proper oh, AMA oh, medicine. Instead of the without the spilk, yes. it's like this, you know. Yes. So I have Parkinson's and have for years, and you know I do not just the AMA prescribed drugs, which are wonderful, but I do 
you know, stem cells at Stem Cell of America. I do glutathione, NAD, hyperbaric chamber, all that stuff for extra credit can help a person, and it certainly mm. has helped me. Well, we've talked about getting sober. We've talked about uh, dealing with Parkinson's. Uh, I, I like how you got good at acting as well. You thought you were good, and then you've got this appearance with Jack Nicholson, and <laughs> he says to you, is that all you're going to give me? Begs. Begs? He, he was a great friend. First of all, he gave me a part. I just called up, said, is there anything for me on this movie going south that he was in and was directing? He said, let me see, Begs, and they wrote a part called Whitey for me. <laughs> So Whitey, played, was exactly, that hard for you? The big stretch, <laughs> real departure. Hours in makeup, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> but then I, but then I'm working on the the show, and I I was very relaxed back then, but I didn't have much else going on. So after the first take and a close up, he goes, "Is that all you're going to give me, Begs?" Mm. But this is the thing. Let's wrap up with this, Ed, because after all that you've been through, you do have love in your life. You and your lovely wife, Rachel. This made Rochelle made me think of you, Tony, in terms of writing. He said, "I dove off the emotional high dive." hoping that someone would fill the pool with water before they landed, oh. before I landed, and they did. Oh. And the one with her hand on the fire hose was my dear Rochelle, and I suddenly felt safe. Mm. Isn't that good? It's You're powerful. a poet. You it's understand. powerful. I feel that yeah. about my wife, too. That's I know you do. Say, I yeah. know I'm you. very lucky to have her in my yes, life, and my yes, wonderful yes. kids and grandkids. I'm one blessed person. I'm very, yeah. very fortunate. Well, on the journey to tranquility, um, we appreciate your transparency. Yeah. This book yes. will help a lot of people. It'll help a lot of people. Bless you. Bless you. It's, you it's funny, too, as you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Begley Jr., thank you. To the <laughs> Temple of Tranquility and Step on It. It goes on sale Tuesday, October 3rd.